New research shows an estimated 26 million adults have a food allergy in the U.S. and develop, developing them in adulthood is more common than previously thought. Dr. Malika Marshall explains. Christine Collins carries her EpiPen wherever she goes. The 42-year-old developed a life-threatening food allergy to shellfish in her 20s after eating seafood her entire life. My throat was closing up and by the time we were in front of the emergency room, I couldn't breathe. New research shows an estimated 26 million adults have a food allergy in the U.S. That's one in 10 adults and nearly half developed at least one of their allergies in adulthood like Christine. It certainly points to this being a very prevalent issue and, and likely more prevalent than we've previously recognized, particularly the adult onset. The study in JAMA Network Open surveyed over 40,000 adults and found shellfish was the most common food allergy in adults, followed by milk, peanut, tree nut, other fish, egg, wheat, soy, and sesame. But the researchers also found that many adults who believe they have a food allergy may only have a food intolerance or another health condition. Mass General Hospital's Dr. Wayne Schreffler works with food allergy research and education. Patients need to get a proper diagnosis so that if they are at risk of severe reactions, they're prepared to deal with them. It's also important because it can be misdiagnosed or people can think they're allergic to the wrong things and avoid foods unnecessarily. Dr. Malika Marshall, CBS News, Boston.